Aloha everyone in the Hawaiian Kingdom and around the world. This is our Hawaiian Kingdom flag and we have some drama today and uh, if you didn't see the news with Kirk Tavella and how they got put on blast with DHHL, luckily yours truly was there and some people may have not seen the footage but it happened last night. Even though the, the film happened days ago with over four hours of testimony, yours truly filmed live. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to show you what's going down. All right, so this is my Facebook page, as you guys can see, and we're going to show what the news showed, okay? So I'm going to go show you guys on my laptop. Today we're in the studio, and let's see what they had to say, because they got put on blast as Governor Josh Green files harassment claim against Senator Kurt Favela for being racist. Now, Native Hawaiian is not a race. It's an ethnicity, and we've got to make this clear to the stupid governor, and so let's just, um, I'll let you guys see how we came to this conclusion so here we go tonight governor josh green has filed a harassment complaint against republican state senator kurt favela in a letter to the senate president the governor said favela violated senate rules with comments about hawaii's chief housing coordinator rick Desog has our top story I would deviate from the plan. The complaint was prompted by remarks State Senator Kurt Favela made at a Hawaiian Homes Commission meeting last week about Governor Josh Green's housing chief, Nani Maderos. Favela compared her to the devil and questioned her commitment to the Hawaiian people. Nani has nothing or no knowledge about the Hawaiian people. I'm kidding, she says she's Hawaiian. Just remember now, the devil also was an angel. Remember that. So just because you're Hawaiian doesn't mean you have the passion for the people. Madera said Favela's comments crossed the line. Immediately, I mean, I just, I got very upset. I was shocked um, that I was hearing what I was hearing. Um, it was upsetting. It made me angry in Hawaiian families when you come after somebody in that family for especially their Hawaiian-ness or challenge what they've done. You're challenging their whole family, you're challenging their history. Before she became the state's housing chief, Maderos worked with Housing the Homeless. She even worked with Favela on one of the administration's homeless projects in his district. So I thought he was a friend and he's made no effort to apologize. Hawaii News now reached out to Favela for his story, but he declined to be interviewed. In a letter to Senate President Ron Kochi, Governor Josh Green says Favela's comments violate several of the Senate's anti-harassment rules, barring offensive language about a person's race. I will not tolerate anyone from my team being treated this way. In fact, I won't tolerate anyone in the state being treated this way. The complaint also says it's not the first time Favela has been accused of bullying the governor's staff. Administration officials point to comments Favela made in the same hearing, criticizing Hawaiian Homeland's chair, Ikaika Anderson. He's a, he's a nominee. What's the hearings? He's not appointed yet. The conflict comes as the lawmakers are raising concerns about money that they set aside for Native Hawaiian housing is going to be used. But political experts say that's no excuse for Favela's alleged behavior. I think when it comes to personal attacks, that, that really isn't appropriate. And it just creates a more difficult governing environment, um, you know, where people... That's a BS position, by the way. A, a political really analyst. <laughs> good public policy. Under the Senate's rules, the Senate president will likely make an initial determination on the merits of the complaint and can refer it to a bipartisan committee for further investigation, which can lead to disciplinary action. Nothing's going to happen. I can guarantee it. has spoken with Favela. He says he looks forward to meeting with the governor over the matter. <laughs> Rick Day saw Hawaii News Now. So yours truly did talk to Kurt's office, and I spoke with Kurt himself. So how did we get to this this position, right? It's what we want to explain. So let's go do some backstory. So even though I put it on my Facebook page here, you guys can see. If you guys have obviously Facebook, I spelt it out. This is a video I got from the office. So somebody edited it, not me. So be before we get into this, I want to show you how we came to this conclusion because this I put this on uh, YouTube. Okay, uh, it's unlisted yet, so I still have to edit. But you guys can watch and see how we came here. Okay, so, so uh, the thing the thing that I like to know is um, talking about the digital is um, since I got here four years ago, um, we talked about it and we're talking about it again. What action since I've been here since this, even though you knew, what action did they take prior to you coming 
to start the process in digitizing the list. That's one. Senator DeCoy talked about the waitlisters, and we know this very much in my community where my family lives on how the haves and the have nots will never have. Why? Because the guys circumventing the list. Use that word because it's very clearly guys who have money to buy the house somebody on the uh, in the homestead turn around flip them sell them go back on the list and they're not doing it one time and i know it's from not a coolie one guy did it five times and homestead directors whoever was involved guilty they all know five times flipping no homes. so this has been going on for a long time that's why it was never a priority. Joby Masakatani is referring to list. and William because Myla. That's one of the main reasons. The next one is if the attorney general or whoever made this decision, I didn't know the date and time. Because it says my colleague said, I never agree to paying any of the Hawaiians on the list. Any money. Because that's not fair to my family members who died on the list. Are they families going to get 100000 20 years later after my grandmother died or my auntie? Right. And this no. was reported January 10th. So we should not be buying our Hawaiians off the list. Because what are they going to do with that 100000 What if they already own a house? But I didn't, I wasn't agreeing on that. But now you guys saying it's illegal. But then when did that, when you guys found out that you were going to tell us that it was illegal? You see, that's the kind of stuff that we need to know. I think you, you guys like talk about bringing back trust to the department. But within what you said, Director, yeah, you have a lot of people behind you and in the department that nobody trusts. You guys keep true. recycling them. Very keeping true. Keeping them around. Yeah? Milking the have system. A bad OP stuck to something that's not good. Gotta get rid of them. <laughs> because our kupuna is dying. You're talking about rentals, but not a kupuna. Can I give a loan? Can I get credit? No credit. How do you going to qualify for that rental? And the debt to income ratio from the banking cartels. They're dying on the list and they continue to die on the list. And this is not a priority for nobody in their department for a long time. The Kupunas need to be prioritized. First and foremost, they should digitize that. See how we can get the rent assistance that all are talk about educating them. Because I'm getting texts on my phone. Not all the beneficiaries get the information, but they would love to do it. So I like know, going back, how much of that part you guys sent out, said, hey, you guys want some education? Go to this site and, and sign up. I like know how much of you guys sent out that card to all the beneficiaries, island wide, to get this kind of home um, assistance to learn how to make sure you can buy your home and whatnot. I like see. Where that at? I didn't see how much went out. And that's what I need to know. Because right now, this is not happening. You guys keep recycling the people within the department that you're in. And I gotta stop. Seriously. Thank you, so, sir. So that was one part right there. Right? And then if you guys got to see the whole meeting, which is what we're getting into, at the DHHL meeting, this was four hours long on the January 27th I tagged it here it was very long and there were two great testimonies we do have to mention so what they put on the news was I found Kurt Favela at an hour and 37 minutes and 15 seconds I timestamp things so you guys can see it you can see it on YouTube and we also have Trina who did a great one talking about um, sorry Kahaku her repatriated name right here you can find her on Facebook as well 58 minutes to talk about the crown lands because if you guys didn't know DHL stole the crown lands in 1920. We're not part of the United States till 1959. Yeah, so you guys can listen to this on your part, but I want to show you guys Kurt's part really fast. We're going to go to an hour 37 minutes. I just want to mention Kahaku's part. You can check in 15 minutes and she does an awesome job talking about the crown lands. Now Kurt comes in here. All right. 137 15. So we'll just start about here 137 35. So they only played the end of this part. Okay, when he comes in, uh, they didn't play the whole part, which, you know, of course, as an editor, as a producer, and if you're going to be on the, on the media, you, do sh you should do profession professional journalism and not half, half a quality work. 
So obviously, yours truly is there, and you're Ray in the background. And this is the part about the way I'm hearing. So this is about, he talks for definitely longer than three minutes, but I just want to show you guys uh, what happens here, before and after. It is totally four hours of footage. This is what I got sent today. If you need more time. And you guys can see this. So we're going to play this from the beginning, and then you guys can watch this. It's about 9 minutes and 54 seconds. Okay, sure. let me make this bigger. Um, Okie dokie. Before going through my testimony, um, I asked a question at the way I'm hearing. Um, to the, to the um, question was um, uh, letting go and termination of Cedric. So you answer this question clear. He was a former commissioner. Share here, follow me one day. Okay? And this is clear as day. I know this. Cedric, is Cedric still working for Hawaiian Homes? No. Okay. She had called me. This is January 19th. Governor, e, uh, Governor Green. I have Cedric be the director of Hawaiian Homes and you as the deputy. So Cedric would come and show you and guide you on what to do. Cedric was a very, everybody in the place that worked there was talking about that. Cedric never wanted the job. He never wanted the job. But then now I hear you let him go. And I know previous past and a threat is there. A threat is released. But you don't need to answer him now because you still never give me an answer why. I want to put it on notice in this commission hearing. I want to know. What was the parameters of letting Cedric go? I'm going back to the WAM hearing. Uh, if anybody wants any of our WAM hearings, briefings for every department, WAM chair, Senator Dela Cruz. I watched it and I got it for you guys. Person in that room. Maybe not me because I go all over the place. <laughs> but he asked a question, everyone the same way. Now, for the defense of my colleagues, nobody in this room, in that room, had any other animosity because of uh, designating Anderson. But when you have three hours of unhearing that you struggle to answer questions of a WAM chair and other of my colleagues. About which part of the plan they're going to keep or dump. Which was already approved in December. And also asked many of times if you needed more time to go and collect. First hearing, commissioners, the designee had people inside the hearing that could answer the questions for him. Remember, Ikaika Anderson isn't nominated. Three hours he sat there. Isn't confirmed Never yet. called on none of them. Not one of them. And I know these people in this building did the homework for him. But he didn't take the orders from here. And he knows, because if he did, he would have stayed on the script. Whatever he couldn't answer, he could have came back. But he rambled on, confusing everybody, frustrating everybody. By deviating from the, the hearing, plan. I have another one. To prepare him to come back to the WAM and the Hawaiian Affairs, which I'm blessed to be the vice chair, thank you. Who, anyway, the bottom line is, he wasn't prepared a second time. Nobody was trying to attack him. Nobody was trying to disrespect him. But, commissioners, he lied five times to us. That's the hearings. Uh, not because he misled, he lied. He lied to saying that you guys was going to deviate from the plan. First hearing, he told us he needed to consult with you guys of the original plan, commissioner's plan, not the ED plan, commissioner's plan, because you guys had beneficial consultation. Supposedly. If he stuck to that, probably would have been less pain. But he decided, not one, not two, not three, not four, five times, he told Senator De La Cruz that he was diverting and not keeping in step with any of the original beneficiary commission and Then, one of the gentlemen, of course, you know, I'm not going to names because I'm all over the place. All the guys came up and they said, oh, we already spent, not spent, but going through 50 million of the 170. To be corrected now, people. We're not giving them a six hundred million dollar check. They have a hundred something million, hundred seventy million. Hundred seventy million. You're gonna be able to spend by June, July. June thirtieth. It's not that we don't want to give it. We don't want to give anybody that kind of money if they don't have a plan. So they had the original plan in December. Twenty two thousand twenty two. So again, I know because Ever Beach was one of them. And don't get me wrong, I don't like any more homes in my community, but it's for our Hawaiian people. So they set aside six hundred homes. I don't know the exact dollar amount. We use an amount calculator. 600 homes was allocated for Ever Beach. 
that was in your commission plan beneficiary back then. How did the designee not know that? He can She had answered, no, he won't go with what his five plan. Then one of my colleagues reads an email that we got from, he said the shark. Out of his plan, he said he's not part of that. Uh, we all know Robin Dana's plan, very good, as we know her. She sent the emails to all of us. All he had to do was stand on his own. And then maybe he would have got respect from some of us at the Capitol. But he didn't. He didn't. He put Nani. Mr. Chair, should I bring forward the chief housing officer from the administration? She's the one who complained and went good to the news. Good chairs, members, Nani Medeiros, Officer of the Governor, Chief Housing Officer. On the panel. She did not speak to Senator Kirk Favella. Has somebody like Lehua or somebody else from the commission, I mean, from this building, sitting next to him. Nani has nothing or no knowledge about the Hawaiian people. I want to see, and I believe Governor Jeff shared the sentiment, we want to see them succeed. We want to see them succeed. We want the funds expended. We want the wait list reduced. We, wait list reduced. we want our Hawaiians in homes. I'm Native Hawaiian. It's personal for me, too. I don't care if she says she's Hawaiian. Just remember now, the devil also was an angel. Lucifer. Remember that. So just because you're in Hawaii doesn't mean you have the passion for the people. We're going to do our best to support them, have them succeed. And again, one, one, of, one of those opportunities is funding dirt significantly so that we can not only help create rental housing on the HHFTC side, but build housing on the DHHL side. And if they need it, more infrastructure, resources, they can use dirt. In that, the majority dirt. of this Lot general of acronyms fund appropriation are being that the around. legislature gave was going to be used for infrastructure or to develop lots. Um, you know. yeah, but that's not what he's, he's saying. Now we're going to de reduce the 505 and go into vertical building. Vertical construction. Um, that's yeah, their so, vision. So well, that means the priority ends up not being infrastructure. Right. So so we um, agreed that, you know, investing the majority of the general funds to do infrastructure was not really, you know, maximizing the flexibility you gave with this 600 million being in general funds. That infrastructure can be funded through other means like CIP and bond financing. AG comes up and say, the deputy was saying, we could have used 100,000 to give our beneficiaries to get off the list. When they was going to tell us that was illegal. I don't care what's happened about the Indians in California. Why well, we never try to give one Hawaiian 100,000 and see what is the ramifications. I mentioned that you guys did your job. First time, you guys know I struck with Isla all the time. And Gomes. I didn't want to give them the money. Tyler. Yes, I love, you know, but I, I love him. We Give fought him, him with the casinos. You guys did your job. So when I went in there, that's all I wanted to hear is how your guys' hard work was going to play out. No, I can talk to the commissioners. I would deviate from the plan. But I cannot talk to them yet. And I'm going to bring this saying, law. Comes back and tells us that you guys agreed. To deviate from the plan. Seven to two. So you saying that they agreed to deviate from the language in Act 279. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm saying that they agreed to the five points which would be deviated. Yes. I, 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 would, I, would, I would love to see that in writing from your commissioners. Before I went into that hearing, and I know he knows and most of you guys know, I already knew. I love my community. I love my people. But I'm going to tell you right now, if he stuck to the plan and the budget plan, it would have been great. He wouldn't have to have stayed there that long. But he decided to say he have a five-point plan. The four of them in the four five-point plan is pretty much similar to what you guys went with the, with the commission uh, consultation. But some of the stuff, the wording, not too good. So my colleague was trying to press that with the shark. Yeah? I asked him the question. And of course, uh, what Speaking of homeowners association in the uh, Department of Interior. Mike, you know? The show. Right? They're all crazy. Senator, please start to conclude your remarks. That's not real. No problem. But just remember, none of us had any PDK. I like I told the governor, I have no animosity towards him, but I have a lot of issues of other things that have happened. But just for this hearing, I didn't appreciate that we was like, and that's what it is. And maybe it's my opinion, but watch the two videos. And then, then, I bring it up, but budget hearing with the governor. Governor did his thing, then he left. Brooke Wilson and Nani left behind. Brooke Wilson said, I watched the beating. He never said that. 
I don't want to you. I was watching, Jeff. I was in a meeting. Senator, you need to please conclude your remarks. Yeah, my conclusion to these remarks is governor's chief of staff and the housing didn't know the difference between a governor's message, yeah, governor's message and a bill. This is who calling the shots. So if they confuse, now you know why the designee is confused. Thank you. Thank you for your guys. Take care. God bless you all. So remember, that's one part that they play, and this is on Facebook. But they skipped a lot, obviously, from the news article you saw earlier, and I just posted on Facebook. Mr. G from, he's actually in Italy. He's an Irishman who actually lives in Sardinia, Italy, right now. Was watching from <coughs> all the way from Italy, and is calling out the governor because why is he filing a harassment? Because they didn't play it all. The news. Kiahi Tucker them only played parts of it. Obviously, you can see some of it, but that's not the whole story. That's not the end of what happened here. Because Ikaika tries to them and talk stories. So we're, we're going to try to skip a few because he went definitely more than three minutes and he gets called back uh, here. <laughs> That's not even there. This is who called the shots. That's the one who complained to the governor. And they said Kurt is bullying her when they didn't even meet. I also follow you have to up call. the call to your cell phone to request a meeting with you. Yes, yeah, you have to make an appointment. Sure. I, 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 so I have much to do with, with the ways of things. The reason why I never meet with you because I never give someone that's checking. Senator, you want to discuss? <laughs> you have a question for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Kurt does not like Ikai Anderson for obviously the bullshit reasons. So this is what the news didn't show you, and this is why I'm showing you guys back. Oh, Craig, her name is Nani Maderos. You can Google her. She's supposed to be in charge of housing for everyone in the Hawaiian Islands. So part of the 279 in that, that particular property, you did include the Ella Beach, um, Ella Beach former Noah site, the old tsunami surplus military property, came back to the HHL, you took that, and I wanted to inform you that. I tried to make a casino. I wanted to inform you that for lots at 600 lots. Yes. Um, they went there behind our backs at the time, and Tyler Gomes and William Isla was going to build a casino. You cannot trust these people. Now, this is all on record, but they only played a small portion on the news. Uh, he gets called back again to the hot seat. So the people in front of you voted yes to change the plan and give you. The two people on the left, the Maui and Kauai uh, commissioners, voted no to change the plan to go with vertical construction. Because vertical construction means apartment buildings. Brother Samson Souza was there. We were watching this live, and now you can see it on the news because these appointees were nominated by Josh Green, and now we're getting kickback. Well, Curtis. I think one of them, um, yeah, I was going to withhold comments until everybody was through, but these issues that come up, I just feel like maybe I should periodically step in. So, one of the things that uh, caught my attention right away was when the commission approved the five point plan. No, I didn't vote for it, but others did, and that's fine. This, this is how the process works. But the stipulation was 
that the chair would not deviate, would not change at 279 as approved by the commission. Correct. And I think that's what began to catch our attention was the comments such as um, our vision as a solution is voted to accept will maximize and enhance the existing bank by offering vertical construction that the desktop of the group. Correct. And vertical construction, as you know, is multifamily commercial apartment buildings. And Ikaika kept on pounding that in the meeting, which I will show you guys later, in right after this. He voted no. So that's just one of several of my concerns. And I want to point out, this is this is not to cast dispersions on people. This is about following a process. And um, stick to the black and white. And the stick to what you is not being followed. Correct. And I would agree, Senator Della Cruz asked a very important question. So, so thank you for being here today. This, I think this discussion is going to continue, but I wanted to just interject right now and share some of now. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Commissioner. Yes, Senator Law, I'd like to thank you for so we're going to pause it right here so both of these two said no um this is a new trustee and that's where cedric used to be he was going to be in this position i've heard to the coconut wireless that stacy eli is going to be the deputy director so you got hands and things moving through the grapevine in the coconut wireless now how did we get to this point remember this is january 27th this happened yesterday february uh, january 31st and they obviously cut out all this footage that we're showing you now and there is the Ways and Means Committee right here. Oh my God. So it's an hour and 52 minutes long. So this is what happens in the committee. Now, luckily I put on YouTube, I still have to um, do some things to make a description, but you can see how this thing started. I believe it's in four minutes-ish. He, Ikaik Anderson says his vision is to go build vertical constructions. And that, that is their vision. So. Bingo. So about five minutes into the video, he, YouTube does not do great subtitles because Kanaka is spelled Kamaka. But their goal is to put actual homes and do vertical construction. Now if you actually scroll through this, it's about a later part, they actually get a survey, survey guy to come in. Uh, this is Nani Maderos, as you guys saw earlier. She's supposed to be in charge of all the housing for everyone on the Hawaiian Islands. And they actually survey everyone with the commissioners and all. And they wanted to know how many people actually want single family homes versus multi uh, versus vertical homes. 76% of people said they want 
single family home. So they can have their own land, you can build equity, you can do a lot of things, even though it's a 99 year lease. If you are in an apartment building for a 99 year lease, your apartment building won't even last that long. And so it's very strange when Ikaika mentions this more than five times about building vertical construction. He lied to me, to you, everyone, saying that vertical construction just means anything above ground. Well, that's just dumb. You can bullshit the world, but you can bullshit yourself, but you can't bullshit Akamai people who've actually studied real estate. we got a lot of investors. we got a lot of people who actually know the laws. And the senators call them out many times in this video. And they want to know what are they going to do with the wait list, how they're going to remove them, how they're going to provide the housing. Now, this is a long video, uh, and I followed it on Kurt's Facebook page. You can see my note-by-note -note comments over there, and I can show you guys also on here. So we can scroll through, actually, because all my comments are listed on there. So let's just scroll through so you guys can see what's going down. Now, where did I put it? All right, so luckily today we're in the studio and you're with me. Yeah, so this is the original meeting. And you can see it right here, uh, all my timestamps. Because I, I watched it all day yesterday, and then ironically, the news was played, this one, while I'm looking at and reviewing the video. Because I want to know if there's any merit uh, to the claims that are being called out. So, uh, I can show, so let's just click on the video, because obviously you guys could read this. It's not the most uh, easy to read, but... Let's read the comments, right? Because real time comments. Boom. So I can tell you on the side as, as we go through this. So let's go to 1 hour and 38 minutes. We're going to go to the conclusion really fast. 138.54. Okay. So, you can, so the audio is not the greatest, but I highly recommend you go to the Facebook link here on Kurt's uh, page right here. I'm circling with the arrow. And you can see my timestamps on the side because uh, you, you're going to have to probably put on earphones. But pretty much I can I timestamp uh, very important key points. For example, 30 minutes and 20 seconds in. Let's go to, let's go to this one. 30, 20 ish. And I'm just going to read. Mr. Anderson says we are keeping the existing plant as a foundation, but then he's already admitted to deviating from the plant at 24 minutes and 30 seconds, six minutes prior to. So we're catching these people in their lives, like Kurt said at least five times. And at 24 minutes and 51 seconds, Ikaika says, I can't tell you which plan specific we plan to keep. So they don't know which parts they plan to keep, which plans they part to dump. And this is why Kurt's so frustrated in how you got to where you're where you're hearing the deviation from the plan. Uh, yeah, it does take to loads, and so I'm, I know I'm scrolling fast. So this part will be on YouTube as well, but you're not going to get my timestamps on the YouTube page. Uh, some people are going to get $100,000 to build a home. It's mentioned the Kalima case in an hour, th three minutes into it. 
And you can see their idiocy as they're proven, you know, about what we're discussing everything here. Uh, Mr. G knows the law. They plan to use um, $60 million uh, for mortgage assistance, down payments, uh, services, and financial literacy. I don't know what financial literacy means to them, but if you need $60 million to read a book, that's just stupid. Right? Now, at, how are they going to spend the money? Now, that's very important. Let's go to hour 9 and 59. So this is how they plan to justify the spending. They don't really tell you straight up, and they, they, and they don't even give us that long to talk at the public testimony. You're not really allowed to ask questions. Well, you can ask them, but they're not going to answer. They got this boto stoic face. So, how much are they going to spend, right, is the main question. And the answer is, they're going to spend $50 million first, uh, and they have to spend $172 million by June 30. They're using the big words like encumbrance and all these other things of how they're going to spend the money. Now, Ikaika also mentions an ADU. If you guys don't know what that means, 54 minutes into the video, an ADU is an additional dwelling unit. That means you're going to be like an attachment, you're going to be in a basement. It means there's already an existing house and you're attaching parts of it to the house. Like that's not a real solution after 103 years from DHL's inception. That's just BS to me if you've got you know, regular family, regular home, and you're just going to live in somebody else. This isn't New York, and you're going to rent somebody else's place. We actually own the lands through our great Mahele, through Elodio Taito, and all this stuff. That's why there's a back history, which Trina, I'm saying, Kahaku mentions earlier in the Facebook post here at 50, 50 minutes and 4 seconds. So, so there's a lot of stuff that you can get from this part. Uh, and I still have to edit. So you can see all of these videos. I'm definitely backlogged uh, and I have to put descriptions on. So a lot of these are not listed yet. I even have the Kapuna March here. We put the council and you guys can see literally the back studio. Some of the stuff are worth. I still got Gene Thomas Shiro's work, you know, because it takes time. I'll probably have to do it in parts like we're showing now. And this is the one that got a lot of people um, over a thousand something views on Kurt's page. All right, Facebook fans. If you guys didn't see this. Six, seven, oh, six and beyond. Well, yeah, at Hawaiian Homestead. Um, uh, I guess you can say uh, office, building. Um, where they're going to have the commission hearing about what time? About 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock commission hearing. You want to come down here and sign wave with us to, you know, let everybody know that how important our $600 million is to be spent in a, uh, I guess, a Pono way, uh, uh, making sure that the people that's leaving Hawaiian homes know what they do um, with the money. You guys seen the hearings? The proof is in the pudding. Oh, wait, I got to change them. Sorry, I changed them because I'm Hawaiian. The proof is in the point. Bottom line, guys, we get $170 million that we got to spend before March. And uh, we had a beautiful Hawaiian home meeting last night for Ever Beach. Thanks to all my family and friends in Ever Beach for coming out and voicing you guys' opinion and you guys' concern. It was well heard. Like I said, it's not the people that work in the building that we have a problem with. It's the new regime and the new leadership that's trying to come in and change things. You know, guys, you know, I'm going to tell you guys right now. You know what is the biggest concern for me besides the $600 million? To keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands, you know, you know, there is no person that can watch these videos and say that he is the guy that's going to take the Hawaiian people to the promised land. Okay? He doesn't walk on water. He doesn't. And I, I, I don't even know if he, he, he drink river, river water from the mountain. But anyway, getting back to the subject here, guys. Okay? We get opportunity right now to make a stand now and let everybody know the true reason why we're out here is because there is no plan there is no future there is no nothing yeah we gotta keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands <laughs> Thank you, brother. Oh. Thank you, brother. 
The bottom line is, guys, to talk about beneficial consultation, they already had that. Commissions made a, made a stand to do the plan back in December. They allocated some of the funds. Now, if you come in as a governor's uh, a selection, do your homework. This is why I say this, guys. Do your homework. People in this building prepped him, gave him the information. Then he tells us, not once, Senator De La Cruz asked him, how much of the original plan you're going to go with? And he said, no, I'm diverting from the plan, and I'm going to put in my five-point plan. Okay? The commissioners never took that stand. That's the reason why I'm here today. I'm going to make sure I go in there, and I want to listen. I want to listen to what they get for say. Guys, this is the biggest opportunity the community has of our Hawaiian people getting what they deserve. $600 million. And then you get, you get a person that quit his job, lied to the kapuna, and hurt his people. Cannot. So again, if he never come, and, 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 and not once, but twice, um, I don't want to use the word lie. No, I'm not going to use the word. He lied to us, and then his staff gets up and say, oh, we're already in a process about $50 million of the original plan. And Senator De La Cruz said, wait a minute, I thought you guys said you guys are not doing none of the plan. They already implemented from back in December when they approved the plan to allocate money to the different communities, like Ever Beach and all the areas. They, they, they get a list. Go look for them. I'm going to look for them too. Go look for them. They get a list that they allocated so much money. Ever Beach, they allocated for 600 homes. Not definitely, but that's what that was the goal that they had set money aside. Of the 170 million guys, you gotta be straight now. Uh, Hawaiian Homes doesn't have 600 million to spend right now. They have to spend the 170 plus million, and then ask for an extension so that they can go forward in the rest of the money. So I said, um, Ikaiko, um, stick to the script. I said, I've tried to do Robert Danner's and uh, Shore's script. And, and tried to implement that right away, right out of the gate. And that's the reason why he fell down on his face. Because he should have just went with the plan. Yeah, it's not the EGA's plan. I keep telling everybody. It's not the EGA's plan. It's the commissioner's plan. The commissioner's is the boss. Okay? That's the plan that they came up with, they voted on, and they would implement. Okay? Don't change the plan. So what he should have done, if you wanted to have a little bit, I'm not going to say smooth sailing because um, still get issues with this guy. But if he stuck to the plan, then he wouldn't have got a 600, 600, 600, six, six hour hearing on the first time. Okay. Then the second time, he lied to my colleagues. I was in a meeting. I don't like hear anybody telling me that he did not say that he was going to divert from the plan. He used that word. I don't know what that means. What is that divert? I don't use that kind of big words. He wasn't going to fall in line. He wasn't going to do the plan. Huh? Oh, oh, see, see, there you go. I was wrong too. Wasn't, wasn't divert. That's my word. You don't use a word that I don't know. DV. Hey, 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 hey. You see, that's why I see. Like for me, I listen to my staff. Yeah? That's how I get spot too. You got to be able to work with your staff. Yeah? got to work with them. Because that's how you know things. You can't come in one building that you don't know nothing. DVA. DVA. Okay, guys, please. Kalamai. Remind me when I say wrong words. I'm not above anything, bro. I, I, I have room for correction. I'm not afraid to people correct me. Because I love all you guys. Facebook fan, Facebook land. But you know what the problem I have? Is when you come with arrogance and disrespect for my colleagues. Okay? When you disrespect my colleagues, I take it personal. I'm not sure if everybody feels the same way I feel, you know, in that building. But I take everybody in that building as my family. So when you lie to my family and you disrespect my family, yeah, <clears throat> I get a little bit upset. I'm very territorial like that.
Yeah? I love each and every one of my senators, every single one of them. I love their staff. I love Sergeant of Arms. I love the I love the um uh, the, the clerks. You know, I love everybody in there. Why am I in the house? You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is Oh, that Westside Pride. Oh, oh, Westside Pride. So anyway, we get the aunties over here. Westside Pride, Westside Pride. All right, all right. So yeah, go ahead, sit down, you guys, sit down. I'll say on Facebook Live. I, I, I just want to change the song to keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands. Okay? So the bottom line is, guys, we start off small, right? Anything else, right? Just like Jericho, right? When Jericho went around, right? They said, you can never bust those walls. And Jericho said... Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So right now, Ikaika thinks he's uh, the big wall, and I believe that we're Jericho, and we're going to sing the song, we're going to make the noise, we're going to play the music, until the walls come tumbling down. Okay? The walls need to tumbling down. Our people is too important. Okay? If he had just not, the second hearing was worse than the first hearing. Okay? A commissioner came up and contradict what he said. Contradict what he said. He said that he talked to the commissioners and they're going to what their word again? Divert. And they're going to go with his plan. Okay, guys? Today is the first day of Aole Ikaka Anderson. Okay? Every island Every island, every neighbor island, every single homestead, non-homestead of us, people that was in the know, not in the know, you guys got to send emails to the senators, to the governor, <clears throat> to everybody to let them know Aole Ikaika Anderson, okay? Uh, and, you know, he, he tell me he wanted to meet like that. You cannot meet with somebody that you don't agree to disagree. You cannot agree with him. Because there's nothing that he could have told me that's going to convince me that he's the leader of our people. He's not. He's not. What he did to the Kapunas, what he lied to the Kapunas, what he did, yeah? I don't think none of that personal. None of it. None of it is personal. But, but, when it comes to landfills, yeah, and he knows I get this issue with him. Landfills, he chose number one blue ribbon choice, Amron Crater. Amron Crater. They decide to make it a bird sanctuary. Huh? Why they never make PVT in the around of the, the community that you can chew on stone and you can hit PVT? PVT is bigger than the mountain behind it. How come when it comes to our community, yeah? And we gotta stand up for these kinds of rubbish. Literally, right? Power plant over there, that, that power plant over there, right? Kahi, whatever they call them. My Manalo dump, my Manalo dump. Come on now, guys. Come on, PVT, Bruh. scientific data. Federal, you know I don't listen to the federal all the time. But when they, when they, when they come up with something that is kind of good, we gotta listen. They said everybody that lives next to this landfill, yeah, live 10 years less of their lives. Huh? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, Hawaiians. So why we never put them in Amron Crater? Oh, because of the lining, this and that. What about Waimanalo? What about PVT right next to a river? You can slide down PVT into the river that goes through the ocean. Huh? Oh, come on now. Come on. Because, because, you can't get over like in that area. That area is far away from any houses. Far from any houses, schools, everything. It's in the, it's in the mountain in the middle of nowhere. But they close all the landfills and all the dumps on their side of the island. And they come to our side of the island. On the west side. Aole. Already. Kaika doesn't have a plan. I don't know how much times you want to go to the drawing board. Yeah? Back in the day, we used to use chalk on the drawing board. But you cannot use chalk. So now we use the kind of eraser pen or PowerPoint. Whatever. All this new technology. And I tell you guys again. The reason why I upset is because of what happened. What happened to my good friend, 
for many, many years, Cedric. They fired Cedric. Lovely family, loyal, loyal worker. Never bother anybody, no pili care. Keep a white hands, how do you take a hands? Loyal to the soil. He used to make the meetings comfortable for people. Because of their lack of gathering, they fired him. They never let him go, they fired him. They fired, they fired Cedric. Right now, see this building? He went to all the islands, set up all the meetings, stay in this building to late at night, prepping, prepping for the meetings. And that's how you treat a loyal, loyal employee. It wasn't about the money for him. Never was. Not like some of the people that left this building. Right, Joby? Right, Joby? Huh? You got a nice pension, huh, from jo the Hawaiians? Joby Masakatani. Huh? Right on, Joby. Who's Thank the you. previous director. You know the best you did in here with the Nahasa money. And William Isla yeah? hired know, her man. back after she got let go. Come on now. Come on, guys. You stop, you gotta stop recycling people that cannot be recycled. You know they call the caps. You know the caps above the water bottle. Yeah, you cannot recycle that. You take off the cap and you throw them in the landfill. Yeah? We shouldn't have landfills. Right? That's what they do. Well, that's what we should do with the guys that we can't recycle over here. Go on. Go on. You guys don't understand. When you do this kind of stuff, when a new admin, don't get me wrong now, like I said, you know, you know, Governor Josh Green is a good friend of mine. He's a very good friend of mine. I, I love him. I love his wife. I love his family. But I know all just the calls that is being made. Harassment suit on him for being racist. Because see him, to me, I don't think he has a mean bone in his body neither. Again, people surrounding him have a lot of mean bones. For whatever reason, they let power get to their head. They let power get to their head. So this is the thing, Facebook fam, Facebook land, 96706 and beyond. Us Hawaiians, huh? we don't prosper because get out of Hawaiians stepping on our throat. Correct. Told you guys we wasn't going to get that $100,000 per house. They found on Ray. Found a way to not give us the money, right? Aloha, right? They found a way. Hey, like I said, I don't was supporting that because a lot of my family and friends died on the list. But hey, if they wanted to give hundred thousand dollars to alleviate some of the list waiters, hey, whatever. But I supported my colleagues, yeah, because that's how you do when you sometimes when you try fall in line and you listen to them, yeah. But guys. Come down here, right across Wendy's, come across Ali, right over here, Hawaiian Homestead, yeah? 10 o'clock the meeting will start, pretty soon guys, pretty soon. So we're gonna go inside there, I'm gonna listen to the rubbish, and we'll come out of the spot, <laughs> try to force the commissioners to go with his five point plan. Remember this way- And what is that word, divert? Divert? This yeah, happened all like that, before right? he got put divert. on blast on the news, everyone. Right, yeah. this is what we so he already, he already said how he felt. This, 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 yeah. this is a no surprise for anyone who's been watching. And and this video has over two thousand views on Facebook. Oh, well, I, I put this to YouTube, but yeah, I still got edit, so you guys can at. see it later. This is the crew holding it down. Ahole, ahole, ahole. So again, reason why it was necessary to come out here today is because the lies that was shown, and then what I was learned, what I was learned, guys, that. This meeting is actually illegal. Cause I heard that they gotta post the agenda seven days prior to the meeting. Well, they only want to post them on Monday from what I heard. So I'm not sure if this meeting is even legal. So again, guys, we need to stand our ground. Very important that we need leaders. Leaders that can be able to, and you guys all know, I had my issues with Isla, right? Right, uh, Director Isla. The casinos. I had my issues with They're the going behind director, the back. Uh, Tyler Gomes. Tyler Gomes trying to build a casino behind the back. Right now, if I can re re and they're gone now. I would rather work with uh, uh, William Isla and uh, um, Tyler Gomes, right? 
What happened to Tyler Gomes, guys? Huh? You guys know? Gone with the wind. So this is what I'm hearing. You, you know me. I get, you know, I get my ear. The coconut wireless. Know, like, coconut wireless. Whatever you like, call it. <laughs> but you know what I heard, Facebook fan, Facebook clan? I heard this is the this is the this is what they told deputy deputy um and I never talked to him yet. I, I never talked to him. You know? I I, I just was very because I heard that he would he would pull his name out of the hat. But I didn't know why he did it, Facebook fan, Facebook land. I find out a reason why Tyler, <coughs> Deputy Tyler, took out his name to be director. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. You have to take your marching orders from Robin Danner. Oops. Oops. Is that true? If I'm lying, I'm dying. Somebody correct me now. That's the Shaw correct Plan, me. which is you making Robin your own um, housing association under the Department people. of Interior. Then our people. I don't want to be an Indian, Robin Danner. Okay. Thank you for screwing up the Oaxaca bill. Robin. She screwed up the yeah. people in Come Alaska now, when you follow her because you're going to become a tribe That's and you're going to be under the thumb Oaxaca of the bill. United States. Come on. She's too busy living on the mainland. Come back over here. And then she like tell us, us who live here all our lives and never live here. Yeah. Still here. And then tell us how we should be running our, our people. That's why I'm upset. And I said to me, Kaika, tell the truth. That he's not running Hawaiian homes. Robin Danner is. Why? Because I was told if I would support Robin Danner, I own it. Negative. Never in a hundred years. But what they did to Deputy Tyler Holmes, that's not porno. You see, guys, we live on one island in the middle of the Pacific nowhere. Ocean. We all get together. And we all sit down and talk story. Let's talk story, right? But the approach that they did this, this administration, right? all of this would have been silent. If they just would give all the guys who want to apply one chance to to uh, to have a, a hearing. So I heard... Uh, um, Bernard Cavallo was one of them. Yeah. Uh, when I applied for the deputy position, he got interviewed. He didn't even tell him anything when he got the thing. And then when people say in the newspaper like that, I, I hear all this kind of stuff that Ikaka was always the number one choice. That's not true. It's not true. Tyler was the first one. Tyler was the guy. They asked me if I could work with Tyler. I said the only thing I had a problem with Tyler was about the gambling. Casinos. Right? But I can work with Tyler. He's a good kid. But no. They decided to give him ultimatums. And he was forced to resign. You know? So the bottom line is, guys... I want a list on my Facebook page. I want a list up on my Facebook page. I'm going to show all kind of names out there because everybody's saying, oh, if not Ikaika, then who? It's you. Tyler Gomes. I know Cedric never liked the job. Yeah, I chose Cedric in there. Stacy Eli. Uh, plenty more people. Uh, uh, Lehu. Yeah. They who are smarter than them. <laughs> now, Stacey Eli is going to be the deputy right. director, You're according to right, the Coconut Wireless. But throw some names out there, guys, who would be great to lead our people to the promised land. You know, of course, we're going to have Jesus, you know, with us, <clears throat> to help us. But don't tell me because you speak Hawaiian. This is, not like, this is the kind of stuff I don't like. Yes, I cannot speak Hawaiian. I tried my best to say uh, Senator Jarrett's last name, Keheo Kotole. Yeah, I love him, and I, yeah, I respect him, so I try to say his name in the hearings, because I am the vice chair of Hawaiian Affairs, and I do my best. I practice every day. I practice every day, okay? Right? Because why? Because I want to say his name correct, because I love the guy. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my, he's my, uh, he's my, uh, you know, colleague. 
So I try to respect him and try to say his name properly. I do my best. I no go tell everybody, oh, oh, I, I, I will let Hawaii. I, I can speak Hawaiian. You know what I said to guys who tell me that? Oh, I can speak Hawaiian. Sure. But I also get another one that I can share. Check this one out. Yeah? We know another guy that could speak and say things like that. His name was Lucifer. Brother Lucifer. He could speak and quote scriptures better than anybody in the world. Right? That's why he got kicked out of heaven. Because again, just because you can't speak Hawaiian, doesn't make you better than me, better than other people. Remember that. Because Lucifer wasn't better than God. That's why he got the boot. So don't go telling everybody because you can speak Hawaiian. Right? Yeah? Do. You guys know Do, right? Castle and Crook. Yeah? They all could, the kids could speak Hawaiian. Huh? What happened to our people? Who can dance? Who can speak? Yeah? Took away our language. Remember that. Infiltrated us, learned our language so that they could know what we were saying, and then ban us from speaking it. Think about it now, guys. Think about it. Think about it hard. Think about it hard. You know what I mean? So again, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, look like the kind still over here. Look, speaking of Lucifer. Gotta go over there, guys. You see, he's still over there talking to the kupuna. Yeah, again, Aole, Aole, Ikaika Anderson. Yeah, so the bottom line is keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands. That's it. Bottom line. I don't want nothing to say to him, not to talk to him. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. But I'll keep you guys on Facebook Live. Because if he does call me, I will just tell him, quit. Resign. <laughs> go into retirement. Hang out in the Amaran Crater in Kailua. And go cruise and go in, but enjoy the bird sanctuary. Yeah? Don't come by me. Don't talk to me. I don't have nothing to do with him. Yeah? So that's the bottom line. And this is the truth. So You're again, getting straight up. Again, he's over there. He's over there trying to talk to the Kukuna. Right? And uh, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Yeah. Guys, I really gonna tell you guys right now. You guys want to show the power of the people. I'm not asking you guys to come sign wave. Not everybody can come on and sign wave. But email and call your senators. Call them all. Let them know how you feel. Let them know that you guys are very concerned about the 600 million being spent correctly. Yeah? And He's done right. This you book. don't get involved and try to reinvent the wheel. To contact Because if we had to reinvent the wheel, right now we would have a square. Right? Right? You guys got to remember that. Don't go try to reinvent the wheel. We get 600 million, very important. We want it to be spent on our people. We want our people to have great housing, great things. But the bottom line is, we got to stop the insanity. Whoever making these calls to do this. How's that? So again, you cannot, people. And I, like I said, I love you guys all. And I have a lot of aloha for everybody. Like I said, I don't hate the guy. I don't have any anger or hate towards him. I'm just dis disappointed. He quit his job. To join the, the local 630 union. Aloha. Aloha. Local 630. That's the union. It's uh, Kapu Maderos. She's on the Waimanalo board. There you go. So the bottom line is this, guys. If we're going to prosper as a people, people ask why. Why Why all of these happening? Year after year, when they're in murder of Prince Kuhil, okay, they're in murder of Prince Kuhil. After he had declared the Homestead Act, 
he was going to put in the rules and regulation. Right now, from since the time that that he's there, he been he been constantly, constantly um, knowing that he is the figure of all this. All right, but he was murdered, yeah, because people was jealous. Correct. So he was going to come. He was going to come, and he was going to make the rules. But right now, to this day. To this day, we're only running Hawaiian homes with a policy. So governor to governor to governor to governor, director to director to director. Commissioners, right? commissioners, commissioners. Policy change, right? Look how quick he came in. He never even, he never even got confirm, confirmed by the Senate yet. And then he changed the plan. Yes, that's true. He changed the whole plan. The Kike Anderson is not the official had, head know, yet. I, I know the consultation for beneficiaries is questionable. But he had, he had consultation. They had consultation. William Island and his crew, well, not with me, and the crew, not with and you. Then consultation, and they came up with the plan with the commissioners, and they voted for it, and that was the plan. December twentieth, two thousand twenty-two. You guys understand that? That's that's how it goes. But then that's how they run the game. You don't even go with the plan, and you can try to divert them. And then we asked, uh, and, and Senator Dela Cruz, my good brother, Senator Dela Cruz, had asked him five times. What part of the plan you gonna keep? You gonna know? <clears throat> we diverting. We diverting for the plan to build vertical construction. Oh! <clears throat> Unbelievable. And Unbelievable. He's reading the comments on Facebook Live. Think about it. Think about it. That's what they're doing to Prince Kuhi now. Genocide. Systematic Swapping. genocide. Stealing, lying, giving us Opala land to be Hawaiian homes, not giving us with the good stuff, you know? That's the bottom line. Thanks. So it's very hurtful, very hurtful that we have this, this situation. You know, that's the reason why, guys, when people say, oh, all the politicians are the same. This is what I say to you, family and friends. I will never be a politician. I'm an elected official by the people, for the people. God, community, yeah? See, I'm all frustrated. I'm going to get slaps. I know I'm going to get pahi. God, family, community. God, family, community. God, family, community. That's it. That's it. So, people like that, that gets into office, quit, no quit. You know, he going to work for a union. Told everybody he can quit being city council because he got to take care of his family and his kupuna. I am the main caregiver for my dad. I have help with my sister, uh, Davina. Um, uh, my wife and me is the main caregivers for my father-in-law. I find time for my my family, my God, right? I'm a community. But I don't make an excuse that I go quit my job to find out you're working for the union. Boom, boom, boom. It's not Puno. So how are we going to trust him in this building with $600 million? The people can't. How are we going to do that? That's the same feedback I got from Nanakule, from the Big Island, a lot of people I know from the neighbor islands. So that's the problem I have. They got rid of my good brother Cedric. I love you, brother Cedric. I, I hope, I hope uh, you find something. You know, you're a great man. You know, pray for you and your family. Pray that they see the way and the light and bring you back here in this building because we, we need you. We need you, Cedric. The people of Hawaii need you. 
You went to every neighbor island and you made it comfortable for everybody by having everything set up correctly. From audio to Zoom, you was a man. And you did more than that. You did over and beyond your call of duty. But again, in about 20 minutes or so, 20 minutes or so, we're going to go into the hearing. We're still going to have people out there holding signs. Yeah, we still get regular signs. We don't have all signs that says Aole Ikaika Anderson. Yeah. So, again, you know what I mean? Again, cannot. So, again, he's he going to try to walk this direction, and I'm out of here. <laughs> so, again, I just hope you don't walk this direction because I really don't like talking to this guy. You know what I mean? You guys so are getting the truth is, behind the scenes. Um, guys, this is an important day. This is the day that we start and we as Hawaiian people make a true stand in how our money and have to say on, on how our money is going to be spent. Bottom line. We waited. And this is not something that they're giving to us like a charity. We deserve that money. It's, it's from the, the kingdom. Money. It's our they land. Hawaiian gold. It never left. They got a Hawaiian land. They never swapped hands. Yeah. They just changing title. So like title. I said, those things cannot happen. But it doesn't trump a load your title, which is why we have issues so with again, DHHL. Because they want you to forgive all, forget all your royal patents and commission awards. And just see what happens from now on. And accept the lease and 99 year rent. Yeah. Okay. So again, guys, we would do what we have to do and say what we have to say. But at the end of the day, we have a very, very important decision that we have to make in the direction that we need to go. So again, we need to do what we gotta do, say what we gotta say. But again, love you guys. I stay over here, hoppity hoppy, trying to get my, <laughs> went to the doctor to check my knees, you know. But can I help when you, you wear, you wear just as heavy as an elephant and try to walk on these two little legs. <laughs> but anyway, love you guys, Facebook fam, Facebook fam. God bless you all. Take care. Aloha. All right. <clears throat> so you guys are getting the long form footage. Now this is in my back end studio <clears throat> of the thing. So it's not public yet. I still have to make a description below that you can be the first ones to comment. So you're not going to find it yet. <clears throat> I have all the other footages. I'm so backlogged in the studio. <clears throat> As you can tell, I still have to produce this for Olalo TV and I'm getting hours and hours of footage. So I actually have to go at a 6 o'clock meeting, but I want to show you guys what else is going down besides this meeting. This is a Nani Maderos for people who are asking. You can Google her. There is, there is a portion now, but there is something to do. There is some good news about the homelessness situation, which was pretty unique. If you didn't see this on the news, I'm going to Google. Let's search it now. So let's see. Uh, Mahel, let me put it on. Let's see what it be. Homeless. Occupy. West Side. Something like that. Oh, let me put Hawaii News now. Hawaii News now. There we go. See? This has over 10,000 views since last night. Oh, we have to go through the ads. <clears throat> now, this is with the Vainai Kapuna Council, because yours truly was there out helping feed them. homeless native Hawaiians decided to occupy empty units at a ma'ili housing complex without permission. It's on Hawaiian Homeland's property, and what happened next surprised everyone. Mahalani Richardson has our top story. After years living on the beach on the white that sewers. 23 homeless native Hawaiians are moving. Okay. That's Auntie Georgina. They showed up Tuesday morning at the Ulu Ke Kukui affordable housing complex in Maili. It's located on Department of Hawaiian Homelands property. A community group helping the homeless admits they did not get permission to occupy the empty unlocked units. <laughs> this is Hawaiian Kapuna Council. It's DHHL's responsibility to help native Hawaiians in need. 
They have the right to be here. That's Lena Spain Suzuki on now. Facebook. This is one of the units that some of the group members plan to occupy. There is some running water in the restroom, but uh, there's no furniture, no appliances. Still, the group members say that's okay by them. 60-year-old Lavi Awana, who can't walk and has an open sore on her leg, is hoping she'll get to stay. I don't know what's going on, you know, right now, but um, I'm happy, but uh, if uh, I have to leave, gotta leave, you know, but um, I know the coupon is going to take care of us. I'm nervous and scared to get this house. But the property manager was clearly surprised by the unauthorized occupants. Excuse me, what is happening right now? I think you need to do whatever it is that you need to do, and we're going to do whatever okay. it is we need to do. I'm going to call HPD. Go for it. But after That's a quick Angela Nick Cruz. She's a gangster. She let everyone fill out an application. Okay. The Hawaiian Community Development Board is redeveloping the complex, and President Cully Watson told Hawaii News Now there are other Native Hawaiians already waiting to move in. My concern is I don't know anything about these individuals. So in order to protect the safety of not only the tenants, but more importantly, the children, uh, we need to kind of take a look at who is applying. After some tense back and forth, police were not called and an apparent agreement for a handful of kupuna, like Lavi Aona, to move into units that are move-in ready. But others, like Wainara Kana, were instead told to submit an application. And for now, we'll have to head back to the beach. Reporting from Maili, Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. So <clears throat> I'm about to go there. They're supposed to be having a six o'clock dinner. Yours truly is invited. Uh, and I'm going to go with Auntie Lynette Cruz. So we're going to see what's going down. We're going to help uh, film this. Uh, and I think they're the only ones that put it out there at Hawaii News Now. Now this has 10,000 views. So, and this has to do with DHL, which we just, you know, talk about. And we are making movement. So for this, for the governor to file a harassment suit against one of his own senators, clearly he wants to protect uh, his staff who he nominated and is hiring. When uh, they wouldn't even house the houseless, and that's why the Kapuna did what they did and put them in there. So that's the backstory behind everything. Hope you guys enjoy the footage, and I'll see you guys later on the outside because we know there's crown lands. All right, so. Uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to see you guys in cyberspace. May the force be with you always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. You don't got to repeat the message again. And don't forget, it's our crown lands and DHHL stole it in 1920. And you guys can follow Uncle Kim Uncle Kapu. Also follow Matt Kaupi on Facebook land. And we'll see you guys in cyberspace. Pikachu loves you. Pika Pika!